Hello, I'm John Lay, and this is Something for the Weekend. See, I told you I should have done it all season. Hi everybody, and a big warm welcome to this special bloopers edition of the show. Coming up... Our oh, bed. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> And speaking of foul mouths, and talking of men who like to dress up in leather short, and speaking of lovies, and talking of Hollywood superstars, talking of crazy, talking of men in skirts, talking of World Cups, the man that put the D cup in World Cup, and speaking of eggs. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I had to say it's JL, the legend. What a privilege, what a joy. What a season. <laughs> the last show. I'm going to miss that Buffon's hairstyle, old son. I'm going to miss the bum fluff. <laughs> I'm glad you had the fluff bit at the end. <laughs> now. I know a lot of you viewers will have been impressed by the professionalism, the slickness, the quickness of thought that John and I have shown all season. Well, as with most things, it's all about the pre-show preparation. Do I need powder? I've not. How we, yeah, we, neither of us have been powdered. Nobody's taking care of us. We're not being spoiled. Is that him with the scarf and the hat? Yeah. Now, hang on, because we're going to. Oh, will you stop farting? I don't know why. Two? Well, that was the last one. Oh, well, fair enough. We'll share it with you? the world then. That is outrageous. I, that is what? totally outrageous. Why didn't they tell us that? They didn't tell us they were going to do that. That's the wrong that. take. This is the wrong take, because we'd never do anything no, like that. No. That's totally out of order. Well, clearly, the technical team might be against us, but the one thing we could always rely on was our friendship. <laughs> Leighton Baines never played for Newcastle. You're not talking about Leighton Baines, you were talking about Fayab. The point I'm making, I didn't have to do any research because I know what I'm talking about. John Leighton, you're a f***ing <laughs> You know what you're f***ing talking about? <laughs> I'm in the mood to bite the head off Babers at the moment. Just don't move. Right, I'm going to f***ing go for it then. Uh, I think this could be quite a punchy show. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> punch your amateurs. You're going to get a punch in the face <laughs> of the Well, that's why you put such stupid decisions down. There, that's how much you know what you're talking about. <laughs> no laughing and no physical contact. I clearly do. I think we all know when you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. Come on, get on with it. Work to do. Just because you only have one job a day, some of us have proper jobs. <laughs> Well, I think after that, perhaps we're in need of some light relief, which brings us on rather tidily to crap lookalike. Often crazy, often fun, but always crap. Thanks to everyone who sent in suggestions. Some were sadly too rude to show, but I promise you gave us all a very good laugh. Johnny Bolly, a uh, two guy comes in with some rush treatment. I love the Pippin one. I've got to say the that's Pippin my favourite. Oh, they were actually quite good. They were. Together. Together. I thought Sally Gunnell and Diego Ford and 
was a cracker. And I, I enjoyed one of the two guy ones um, with John Pertwee, Three, one yeah. of my favourite actors <laughs> of all time. So, terrific, terrific. Great fun over the season. Though. And speaking of things that are crap, well, if I'm totally honest, perhaps we weren't always at our very best. Ho, ho, ho. I'm Johnny Gould, and here's something for the weekend. This could be the end of my career. <laughs> <laughs> First week of 2009, no, wine? Even <laughs> nine. <laughs> How much have we tried? I have to say, but boys, sorry, me, your pieces falling out. <laughs> this is why they call me Teflon, mate. The hair. This is an achievement, pal. <laughs> I can't believe that a man of my age uses so much cringe in 2000. <laughs> Da-da. The four Liverpool Spaniards, uh, Pepe Reina, Alvaro, Arbio, Arbe, 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 someone who's in Spanish, a drunken euphoria. Stories coming out of, old, uh, of uh, Stamford Bridge at the training ground. There's dis- distress, distrust, unsettlement. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going to have a few too many flaming sandwiches. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Check this out. It's very interesting reading, uh, re- re- reading. I think I had a bit too much data, actually. <laughs> it doesn't stop there. You've got, uh, you've got Nigel. He called him Brian. Huff, and Nigel Cup going back uh, to, to uh, Forest. Can we do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Good Gordy. <laughs> well, the question, just to refresh, was name the seven players yep. who cost £7 million or yep. more but have failed to play for England. Yeah, I thought of Rio Coppola. Uh, Rio Coco, even. Even Coco. If you want to say it that way, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, matron! <laughs> we do help you've got something rather special this weekend to look forward to that makes your weekend even more special than the <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually quite sweaty after that. Oh, and I am sweating right now. I'm sweating over the fact that, one, my hair. My Lord, what happens to my hair in a season? And two, well, what's happened to my wardrobe? I've only got about three outfits. 27 haircuts, one shirt. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit distressed that, you know, perhaps viewers would think that we're not the best of mates. What are you talking about? No, we, we've, we've had some great fun this season, haven't we? we? Certainly and, uh, have. certainly I think we spend most of our lives texting each other as well. Perhaps the highlight of the whole thing is that you started growing that beard at the beginning of the season, and I'm here it is trying. now. <laughs> still a baby dear. still a baby you've been a joy it's been a joy it's been a highlight of the Certainly week so I'm really enjoying it fantastic great stuff and thank you very much indeed to everyone that's watched the show really fantastic you've been on board hope you've enjoyed it but from all of us that's it for this season from something for the weekend do hope you've got something to look forward to this summer that makes it very very special from us all bye bye <laughs> Oh, I think this is going to be one of those shows, guys. This has got bloody TV award written all over it.